As you work with a presentation, you might have second thoughts. Perhaps you've built out this presentation and then you decide that you don't want to use the theme or the template. Well, you can change this after the fact, but I'd like to show you the safe way to do it. I would recommend that you save your current presentation. Then do Save As and rename it. I'm going to call this Alt. And now I can go to the Design tab. When I do this, several themes are presented to me, but I can step through or open up this drawer to see more. You'll notice that I could choose from any of the installed themes, and as I mouse over, it will update to show me what that's going to look like. This makes it pretty easy to find other options to consider, and it speeds up that process. With a click, it will apply that, and all of the themes will update. If you change your mind as you're working, that's okay too. You could just go back to design and find that there are other variants within there to try different colors out. Or just click back on design and open up the drawer and you could audition additional potential options. With a click, it updates. But I did store the original file in case I have second thoughts. Now in this case, I'm going to open this back up and I do like that brick one. With a click, it applies it. And then using variants, I can go ahead and look at different colors. Opening that up, it will show me all of the potential options that are available, including the ability to introduce a wide range of colors. I'm going to stick with this version of red and everything updates. And at this point, it's a good idea to save my presentation before I start to format the text. So let's go back to File and choose Save As. And I'll save this as my next stage in case I need to go back to an earlier version in Revert. Now, a lot of themes are going to look great, but you could choose one that works for you. As I go through the rest of my presentation, I'm going to stick with the initial one I chose. And the good news is, is that because I backed it up, it's very easy to switch back. Just click on File, and you can go back to Open and find one of your earlier ones. So we had an alternate version. I'm going to go here to Stage 3. This takes me back to where I was working before, and I think that's going to be fine. At this point, let's do File Save As, and I'm going to save this out as Stage 4, and press Return. 